Good morning and welcome to another episode of uh, There It Is. Whoops, I was going the wrong direction. 9.59. We're glad to see you this morning as the sun rises. So also we're reminded of the resurrection of the sun. And uh, that is always the good news for us as brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus as we rejoice in the light of our Lord. God's blessings to you this morning. It is Thursday, April 30th, 2020, the year of our Lord. A.D. Uh, I always ask that question, so what does A.D. mean on the timeline? And uh, without fail, somebody raises their hand and says, after death. And it's like, no, not after death. Uh, it is uh, Anno Domini, the year of our Lord, meaning Christ reigns. He is victorious, uh, and he will be until he comes again. And then we will be ushered into something external to the timeline, uh, that is to eternity. And eternity is something that we struggle to fathom, uh, to understand. Uh, I always take off my ring and I say, that's eternal. Where does it begin? Where does it end? We don't know. No beginning, no end. That is God. And that is the eternity that we look forward to being part of as brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus because of what he did and accomplished for us. But that's so true about creation and about the world around us. We look at it and we say, I can't fully comprehend why, I just know that it is. Um, we, we, you know, why, why the rainbow? Why does that particular shape and those order of colors happen? We've got some scientific explanation, but as I understand it, scientists really still don't even quite fully fathom it. Uh, think in terms of the brain chemistry and, and how it works and functions. Uh, we have uh, limited knowledge about it. Uh, because obviously it's hard for, it's, it's something that's difficult to uh, um, do research on because it's part of a living person and it's not something that you really want to mess up. So anyways, uh, we can consider then God's creation. Look at that which is around us and we know something about God. And so that is our sponsor for today, Psalm chapter 8. Uh, just two verses that we'll look at for this morning. We praise God for the gift of our sponsors, <laughs> literally. Uh, and uh, Psalm 8, uh, we look at verses 3 and 4. Uh, when I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you care for him? Oh, how true. Uh, I'm seemingly insignificant in this massive world. I look at the majesty of God's creation and I suddenly become very small and very insignificant. It's amazing what we can know about God from creation. You see, God doesn't only care about that which is strong and mighty in creation. He even considers the small, the meek, the mild, the low, the humble. God has his eye on the sparrow. How much more then does he not have his eye on you? Speaking of things that are created and that we have a sense for their creator by looking at them, that's what the thing on the desk is today, a piece of art, artwork done by a person that I know fairly well, uh, it happens to be my daughter. And uh, the artwork is something that has been on our refrigerator for some time. And I'll get to that in just a moment. But first, I think you want to know the answer to the riddle. And I bet most of you have it already. So uh, it declares war and peace. And if you're not careful, it can cut you. Paper, right? Uh, it is, uh, can be uh, declaring literally war or peace. Or it could be the book, War and Peace. Or uh, it could also uh, cut you, right? Paper cuts, ooh, they're weird, they're strange. All of a sudden you touch paper and you're like, what happened? <laughs> I remember my first paper cut. It was, it was very frightening uh, for sure. I never thought paper could do such a thing. All right, riddle for this coming Thursday. Once high and mighty and now sits atop the pyre. Once high and mighty and now sits atop the pyre. See if you can figure that one out. Not too hard either. Um, I'll try to come up with some more difficult ones. But you remember, I'm not going to a book. I'm not Googling these. I'm just trying to come up with them myself uh, throughout my week. So uh, anyways, so thing on the desk. Uh, it is, a, as I said, a piece of artwork. 
and uh, it is uh, it's it's really pretty. It's actually this is a copy of it. Um, it is put onto a magnet so it can uh, hang on a refrigerator in perpetuity. Yes. Uh, so there we go. Uh, we've got a Native American girl uh, colored. I don't I can't remember what media she used. I don't know. It looks almost like like a uh, um, pastels or uh, also uh, could be. Uh, uh, Colored pencils. I don't remember what she used. Maybe even crayon? No, I can't tell. Uh, I, I'd have to ask her. Um, but anyways, uh, we look at that piece of artwork and we say, wow, that was really good. And that's that's what we said. We were like, wow, Katie, I didn't know you could do that. And um, we were really proud of her, really proud of the work that she had done. Um, it actually hung in the state capitol in Missouri for some time too and um, was just a, a neat uh, opportunity to be able to uh, uh, see the work of a person that I helped create. Uh, pretty awesome that God gives us the opportunity to create too. Um, that creation is a work started by God, but then he creates things that can create too. If you've ever seen a bird's nest and how intricate, intricately woven it is, and they don't even have thumbs or fingers at all. Uh, they simply create well, with their beaks as they knit together to make that very safe place. And so same with that artwork. I know a little bit about my daughter because of what is in there, of how the girl is turning her head, uh, her, her eyes are closed, and what is she thinking? And then it makes me think, what was my daughter thinking when she did that piece? Uh, amazing stuff. So also with God's creation. We look at it and we see his fingerprints all over it. Not only the external creation, but we think of our own bodies, how we can get a cut on our skin, that paper cut, if you will, and it will, over a very short period of time, heal itself. Uh, that that skin will cover over and we can look at it and it just looks like we never had a paper cut to begin with. Uh, absolutely astounding and amazing. What is what is man? What What am I? that God even cares about me. And we see God caring in our gospel lesson in Mark chapter 10, as Jesus sees a broken man. He is blind, he's a beggar. His name is Bart or Bartimaeus. And Bartimaeus cries out, Lord have mercy. And we'll pick it up right there. Uh, and Jesus stopped and said, call him. And they called the blind man saying to him, take heart, get up, he is calling you. And throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, what do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Rabbi, let me recover my sight. And Jesus said to him, go your way. Your faith has made you well. And immediately he recovered his sight and followed him on the way. God doesn't only create and then just let it be but he cares about his creation. He's mightily invested in it. We have just put two uh, raised garden beds in our yard at home. And we're going to eventually put seeds in there, put plants in there, and hopefully it will grow and produce, but it's gonna require our tending those gardens. God tends his creation. He's constantly plucking out the weeds, taking away the sin. Jesus takes it to the cross and he sets us free. How do you know that God cares about you in this great, big, wide world? Just look at the cross, look at the empty tomb and know that our God demonstrates his own love for you in this, that while you were still sinners, Christ Jesus died for you. That is the good news that we live in day to day to day. And now I need you to take plus one second to the rest of your day to be artists, to be proclaimers of the goodness of our God, to use your hands, your mouths, your whole being to proclaim his goodness and his love for, for you, but also for your loved ones. And yes, even for your enemies. God's blessings on your day.